stories are aplenty regarding the unbelievable kochos anefesh, kochos aguf of the chazanish or of Avram Yeshayi Karelitz, Zechat Tzadik Bekadosh Lavracha. It was said about the chazanish, along with all the other myriad and sundry mindless of the Golda Hador, the Posek Hador, the Helege Chazanish, that even in the end of his life, he would be walking down the street in B'nai Brak, and if he was walking behind a woman, people would see him scurrying, hurrying up to get in front of the woman. People would say, Chazanish, you're the Golda Hador, you're the Posek Hador, you're Nish Kodesh Hador. And he says, Halacha Zalacha. I'm not allowed to walk behind a woman in the Shuk. I'm going to run up to make sure that I'm going to be in front. That was the Chazanish. His Hakbodi Yaseiru, when it came to Nyane, Kedush Nyane Tahara. My dear friends, my wife and I are blessed with one child, one son, born after 12 and a half years of unexplained infertility, Avram Yeshaya, named for the Chazan Ish. It's the one time the Ariza writes in Agdam Ochav Gimel of Shar Gagulam that parents get Ruach HaKodesh. I can't tell you, Adi Yomazem, marry now 27 plus years. I can't tell you exactly why we named our son after the Chazan Ish. But little Avram Yeshaya, Shayla, he is named for the Chazan Ish. And I got to tell you, our little Shaya almost never made it, almost died in his first few days of living. And he's been in countless hospitals throughout Eretz Yisrael and throughout the New York, the tri-state area. He's been in many, many hospitals. And he's been exposed, as anyone who's been in a hospital knows, there are TVs all over the place. And I can just tell you, if I can humbly add, that our dear, beloved Avram Yeshai, a name for the Chazanish, and all the hospitals and all the places we've been, and all the TVs blaring and blasting, I have never seen our son ever look in the direction of a TV. And granted, he's not a normal, healthy child, but he still is able to see. And I've never, ever once seen him gaze at a TV, at a television, at movies that are going on. That's an Itzitz, perhaps, of the Chazanish, but that's an Avram Yishai, that's the Koach. We all have to know what to look at and what not to look at. And sometimes we could read stories and hear stories and be inspired by people who live their lives knowing not to look at things that we ought not to be looking at. To guard our eyes like never before, Yeshakayach. And Tiska limits us to this unbelievable organization, Vayimaim. Let's follow the lead of the Yosef HaTzadiks, the Vayimaims of the Chazanishes, and let's live lives imbued with Kedusha, the Tahara, Adainzah.